Good afternoon and welcome to the third in our series of pracs that make up the curriculum of the first semester in the physics laboratory. In this prac you'll be building on the stuff that you had done in the first and the second pracs. Remember in the first prac it was mostly about tabulating, reporting and so on. And in the second prac you're introduced to type A and type B uncertainty analysis. In this prac you'll be collecting a set of data using a very simple pendulum. There's a clamp piece of string and a bob on the end of it. You can adjust the length of the pendulum and you, call, you can record the length of the pendulum using a meter stick like this. Then using this timer you time 20 oscillations. What you do is you set the thing in motion, small angle oscillations less than 15 degrees and you can start and stop the timer once you've reached 20 oscillations. You'll collect a set of data in which there are 10 lengths and a corresponding period for each length. Remember that the period is the time that it takes for a single oscillation. So you have to take your time of 20 oscillations, divide that by 20 to end up with this period. Now that's the data you're going to have. You're going to process this data in two ways. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to use each of these data pairs to calculate a value of g. You're going to end up with a list of G's like this. Then you're going to use these calculated values of G and the equations that are applicable to type A analysis of uncertainty and you're going to calculate a best approximation for G as well as the standard uncertainty. That's the first method. Then in the second method you're going to start out with the same data but now you're going to linearize this data and the linearization process you'll see in your instruction manual and from this linearized data you're going to plot a graph of, of t squared versus L. Your graph should look something like this to which you're going to fit a straight line and then from the gradient of the straight line you're going to find another value for G. An extremely important part of this prac is comparison. You're going to have to compare this value that you got for G with the value of G that was given to you and you'll need to comment on how that value of G compares as well with these other two. Remember that comparisons can only be meaningfully done when you know the uncertainties, so you'll need to comment on that. Another important aspect of this prac is the uncertainty budget to which you'll be introduced. Pay careful attention to that as it plays a significant role in all experimental processes. Thank you.